Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. <laughs> Excuse me. The uh, progressive hit in the previous break, but it's back down to 50. You can still win. Still win some money. This is Triple Threads Pick Your Team 9 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. A very big thank you to all of these folks right here for getting into it. Obviously, Triple Threads had some pretty fantastic hits in this. Johnny with the Nationals, last spot mojo. Good luck to him. Good luck to everybody. There you go. We've got a couple more quick breaks after this, and then uh, that should bring us to the end of the night. So thanks, everybody. Anything else that fills up after uh, hockey break 24 will be tomorrow. We're back, at, back here at 3 o'clock Pacific, 6 o'clock Eastern. This case has been kind of fantastic so far. I wonder if we can find a book in one of these last three boxes. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for a book. Be sure you watch till the end. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? This is Corey. And we're going to show you how to do some group breaks. All right. The numbered cards first. Honus Wagner, 299. And George Brett, 50. For the Royals, obviously. George Brett played for the Royals his entire career? Or did he do like some wacky thing where he played with like some random team at the last year of his career? There's Kershaw to 299. And Luis Severino to 99. Those are your base cards, and behind Ben Benintendi is Nolan Ryan, legend, triple relic. Nice, 3 out of 18. That goes to Daniel Patera and the Strohs. Nice one, Daniel. Then we've got a Cardinal. That's Miles Mikolas, 30 out of 99. That's for the X line and his Redbirds. Behind Buxton is a Paul Goldschmidt for Arthur and the Diamondbacks. Sorry, Arthur. Seven out of nine. This brings back painful memories for Arthur of his diamond of his Diamondbacks. Front office trading away this player of this caliber. Seven out of nine. Looks like a little bit of maybe infield dirt. He is a good guy. We actually met him at the uh, Tops Industry Conference, not this year, but the year before that. And he signed some autographs. But that, even though he's a dirty diamond back, I'm a Dodgers guy, but he definitely was a good guy. I even told him that. I was like, I didn't tell him he was a dirty diamond back. I said, <laughs> I said he, was, he, was, he was my rival. And I was like, it's all right. It hurts, but I'll take it, says Arthur. Yeah, sorry, man. And we've got two out of three, Kenta Maeda. There you go, some rivalry mojo right there. Two out of three, two-color patch, Fidel Cairo with the Dodgers. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, I think Sam S. was, was saying there's probably some big Dodgers hits in, this, in these three right here. Well, I'm with you on that, Atomic Card Guy. I'm with you on that. Uh, he should have won. He should have won the MVP. I think. I think he should have won the MVP over Votto. I think a couple years ago. But Arthur and I and and Joe P too, who's another Diamondbacks guy, we've talked. We've talked about this. We've been talking about it for years. How there's like, you know, like a, like a. A West, there's an East Coast bias. It's biased towards the East Coast. Like the, the writers in the big cities in New York and Chicago and Boston and, and the MLB Network's in New York, right? So they're not staying up watching West Coast games. They're not watching our Dodgers and the Giants and the Padres and the Diamondbacks and 
Rockies and stuff like that. So, so because of that, you know, like Goldschmidt's not getting those first place votes, those MVP votes that he should have, I think. If he was a Yankee, I mean, even a Dodger, it's a bigger market, but you know what I mean. Like if, if Goldschmidt was on the Cardinals, right? If Goldschmidt was on like the Phillies or something like that, and he had that year when him and Votto were battling for the MVP, I think Goldschmidt would have gotten it if he was in Philadelphia. But I don't know. There's Clemente. There's Adam Jones. I think I think in terms of I'm not really like conspiracy guy. I don't think there's like a conspiracy against it or anything like that. But I think there's just a natural bias when it comes to voting for like for like yearly awards. When especially when the media is voting for those awards, just a natural bias. A lot of the East Coast writers aren't staying up watching West Coast games. It happens in basketball too, unless you you got to do like Steph Curry things for him to win an MVP. You know what I mean? Oh my god, yeah, Atomic, if, if this guy was a Yankee, I mean, he'd be, you know, he'd be, be, he'd be bigger than Aaron Judge, easily. There's Ichiro, 23 out of 36, clutch in, clutch in a pinch. It's a triple relic, so they break up the letters weird. I was, I was like, what is Appy, Appinich? Marlins edition going to Jared Pletcher. And behind Let's Play 2 is an angel, Ian Kinsler, Jersey and Auto, 17 out of 75. Boombox with the Angels. For the Rockies, we've got Solo Shots. 15 out of 18, Charlie Blackman. I guess I was going to say Charlie Blackman gets a lot of attention on MLB Network, but that's because he's like a quirky sort of dude. He's got a big personality. I like Charlie Blackman. I guess I guess Goldschmidt may be just too chill, <laughs> which is not a bad thing. But All right, then we've got Miguel Cabrera, 11 out of 27. Brian Bledsoe with the Tigers. Tiger uppercut. All right. Last two mini boxes here in break number nine. Triple threads is kind of hard to get, but we'll, we'll keep digging around for, uh, for another case at a decent price and... Keep your eyes open on jazbeescasebreaks.com. You never know when this is going to appear. No book, but it looks like a couple big relics to close things out or big autographs. Who knows? Just thicker cards. Here we go. There's Alex Bregman to 199. Eric Bailey saying voters can't be too biased if they're voting for Trout for MVP and please on the West Coast. Yeah, but think about the two times he didn't get MVPs, and he should have. Bias. Starling Marte to 199. He should have. He should have beat out Miguel Cabrera. Troll Crown's not that special. He should have beat out Miguel Cabrera for two years. He should have five. There's Babe Ruth 259. But he has to do like Troutian things. He has to go above and beyond. There's an inherent bias. That's what I believe anyway, as an East, as a West Coaster. <laughs> There's Players Weekend, Chris Bryant. Nice, 8 out of 27. Todd Reardon with the Cubbies. There you go, Todd. The Todd Father. And then behind Piazza is... Chris Sale, Red Sox edition, 40 out of 50. Jersey and auto for Boombox and the Red Sox. Right 
for the Buckos. Three out of three, Starling Marte. Four hits and a walk-off homer. Three out of three. Pirates. Who's got the Pirates? Jeffrey. There you go. When did he do that? Oh, there you go. Oh. Did it twice. Jeffrey. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. And behind Cody Bellinger is 17 out of 18, Reese Hoskins. Look at that infield dirt in there. Nice. Phillies. Daniel Patera with the fighting fills. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Triple Threads 9 in the books. Thank you very much for getting into the action on jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.